Let's look at expressing your personality in two ways, though. You've got, firstly, there's being yourself, and then there's sharing yourself. I just would like to talk to you a little bit more about these two things. <clears throat> being yourself is an act of love to yourself. It is also the way in which you maintain your connection with God if you want one, by being yourself. So being yourself is something you need to do all the time, without fail. Just be yourself. That means being yourself in every situation, being who you really are, telling the truth about who you really are, not entering a facade about who you really are. And it's about being you as you are right now, warts and all. All the errors as well as the truths exposed, because the more you can allow the exposure of them, the, fast, the more rapidly you'll identify the errors and the more rapidly you'll also identify the good bits. So, so you just be yourself, warts and all. Now, that's being yourself. You will do that under all circumstances and all situations without fail. Sharing yourself is a bit different. Sharing yourself, you've got to realise you can give yourself as a gift to other people by sharing yourself. So, if, for example, when you ask me something about my past, I choose to share myself with you, share bits about my past with you. You won't always share yourself with everyone because some people are dishonor dishonouring of you. Some people will attack you when you share yourself. And so you won't share yourself with those people. You will still be yourself, but you won't share yourself. Do you understand the difference? <coughs> so you will still be your normal self. You will still be honest, truthful, open, direct, straightforward. You will still be your personality, your nature, because that's all a part of being yourself. But when it comes to sharing your history or sharing personal thoughts, about own feelings about things, you would you would look at the situation and analyse the situation. And go, well, are these people even wanting to hear it? Do they desire to know me, or are they just here for a, uh, another reason? And under those circumstances, you would not share yourself. So the reality is that for many of you, I've not shared myself with you, but I am myself with you. Many of you don't know me very well. You think you do because you've heard a lot of conversations and talks, but many of you don't. You, you prove that through your interactions with me, in fact. Many of you prove it, that you don't know me very well. And with those people, I don't share myself, but I am still being myself. Does that make sense? Yep. And you can do the same. You will share yourself with the people who love you. You will be yourself with everyone. Yep. Liam, thank you. So in a situation like that, um, not being yourself as if you were scared of what someone would do if you didn't share something. Correct. But then being yourself, you would just say, I'm not prepared to talk about that with you now. Correct. Yeah. So many times can you see that we are thinking we're being ourselves when we're actually sharing ourselves with a person in an attempt to appease them in some way yeah. and that's not being ourselves. We're now in an addiction. <laughs> so yeah. it's definitely not being ourselves. Yeah. So it, it, you can see that you get, you get a feel for this the more of God's love that you, enters you. You get a feel for what is right here. You can see at the start it can be quite confusing because what you might do in one situation that looks to everybody else to be identical to another situation might be two completely different things that you do. And many of you have been confused about that with me. You know, why does he do that with that person, but he doesn't do that with me? Why does he not do that with that person, but he does do that with me? What's going on there? And it's because I can feel in any situation when it's important to either just be myself or I can take the additional step of sharing myself. 
And the additional step is, uh, the step of sharing yourself is an act of love. Being yourself is, all, is being loving. Sharing yourself is a, an additional act of love, an additional gift that you give. So obviously, this is what sharing yourself is what you're going to need to do with your other half, isn't it? That's going to be a essential part, isn't it, with the other half? Sharing yourself, learning how to share yourself. Now, would you share yourself with the other half if every time you did, she attacked you, or every time you did, she abused you, or every time you did, she tried to control you? Would you do it then? No, but you could say to her, "Look, I can't share myself with you because these are things you do and." That's not good for me to share myself under those circumstances. Give them the opportunity to change that if they want to change that. But in the end, the soulmate relationship is, is going to be the second most important sharing of yourself. And what's the first? Sharing yourself with God, yeah. Sharing yourself with God. Hmm. Okay.